Well, swimsuit season's back, and for many of us, shopping for that new suit can be a time of dread. <laughs> Sometimes it can. <laughs> While we can't all look like Sports Illustrated swimsuit models, we can certainly be in fashion for the season. And here to tell us about the hottest trends in swimwear is Catalina Roman, who will be doing an occasional fashion segment for us called Catalina's Closet. And today she's brought along Desiree Noisset from Cerulean Blue. Thanks for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you for you. having me, Roxanne. Catalina, it's so, it's so much fun because you love this. You're going to be our everyday style expert, and this is in your blood, fashion is. Yes, I think uh, fashion is part of our life. You, uh, if you either pick up a dress to go out on a date, or you pick an outfit to, uh, for a job interview, or a costume, or an Easter, if you want to make the party fun for the kids, it's always there in every single day. So I said, what's the best thing to get in and put a lot of effort, and that is my passion, then in my e every day and everybody's uh, outfit. Love it. Now tell us what is kind of some of the big style trends this year as far as swimsuits are concerned. One of our first trends is definitely animal print. You see it everywhere. Um, our first model, Angie, is actually wearing a Gore-Tex suit with a very strategically placed... We're, we're going to oh. go to them in just a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I want to hear too about Cerulean Blue because sure. that is your boutique. And first thing when I hear that, I. I it, they have actu absolutely, you have absolutely amazing swimwear. Thank and we're looking you. at some photos right now. So I'm wondering with Cerulean oh, yeah. Blue, that is a very popular color in a certain world. Where did the name come from? It's inspired by one of Crayola's most popular colors, Cerulean. Oh, wow. It's a shade of blue that many people use for the sky and the water. And it's very fitting for swimwear and the Florida lifestyle. Nice. So we can look at a, another one of your photos of your swimsuits. And we're going to see all kinds of swimsuits today, basically just getting a good idea of what's in store for spring. Yeah, let's take a look. Now this is, this is a one piece. Tell us what type of body type would be good for this type of swimsuit. This is an excellent suit for large cup sizes um, and women who are trying to do a little camouflage on the midsection. It's called a bandeau split overlay. It's been my best-selling suit for the past three years. Oh, wow. And it comes out in several different prints every year. And if you look at the, the hardware, it's strategically placed to point an arrow up and away from the midsection and thighs. Um, and it's an excellent coverage for a suit without looking matronly. So it seems like there are suits that offer more coverage, like you mentioned, in strategic ways. And then we'll also see some designs that are popular with like cutouts. See some, a little of that sprinkled yes, in as well. Yes, a lot of prints and a lot of colors. And I definitely love the, um, the elegant hardware on this bathing suit. It's uh, access, it gives you that little accessory um, idea. And don't, you can't, uh, you can stop worrying about the, the tanning lines. Yeah. You can always take the lines. <laughs> All right, and now we have our time. first model. To and talk about the animal print. Tell us about that. Well, this is very popular this year, and what uh, I love most about this bathing suit is the strategically placed prints, which gives you that hourglass look, and uh, yes. which we're all going for, and uh, not you, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so you could use animal prints to make yourself look like you have the perfect hourglass figure. Now our model really does have a gorgeous figure, so, but, th but that does that, the way that yes, it's Yes, and it's great printed. for tummy control, if uh, it's great for um, large um, breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Catalina was like, how do I say that? <laughs> All right, thank who you do we have much. next? Thank you to our first model. Now this is a really cute top. I really love this. Strappy swimwear is so popular this year. This is a Luli Fama suit. She's a, a oh, Florida-based designer. Luli Fama. She's, you know what's really, really interesting about the strappy swimwear is it covers more than a traditional string bikini, but it looks like it's a little bit more risque. So for a woman who still wants to look sexy but doesn't feel comfortable, you know, wearing a, str a true string bikini, this is an excellent option. Uh, bandeau, this style of bandeau with the twist, is also a great um, top for women who have, uh, want to do a little bit of enhancing um, because it, it, it does a little bit of a boost uh, and it's, it's an excellent suit this year. So great. let's, that's beautiful. Thanks let's so take much. a look at our next model. I love the, tass the ties on the side of the bottom. Yes, that's we have, my favorite. Uh, we have the bright, uh, the bright prints here. Actually, I uh, purchased this bathing suit. I <laughs> oh. tried it on <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> tried it on, and I fell in love. It was like a hakuna matata kind of feeling. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, the, the prince, you have to have the right personality for this. If you want to be, uh, if you have a high, um, great personality and uh, If you want to go to a party and say, look at stand me. Stand out, yes. yes. Who is the designer of this suit? Trina Turk. Oh, okay, Trina Turk. Yes. All right, thanks so much. Very pretty. Thank you. Oh, Ooh, this is look cute. At this uh, the ruffle is a big trend that I've seen the last couple of years. Yes, this is another Trina Turk. And it's the crop top. Uh, it's her version of the crop top ruffle. And we see women pair this with pants and wear it as a top, especially in Miami. Um, oh. Or on vacation. Some nice yeah. flowy pants. Yes, exactly. And what's really cool about the crop top, um, the flowy top, is that it regulates cup size. So women who have large cup size and small cup size can both wear this suit and look like they're um, each wearing a medium sized cup. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a suit. This is really, it's a top for everybody. Bringing us all to the average. Exactly. Right? Thank okay. you so much. Oh, this is so colorful. That is such a pretty, oh, that's my favorite color. She's got actually, a lot of uh, matching accessories there too. Yes. Yes, we have the vintage uh, vacation one piece bathing suit here. And this, uh, this look takes us back to 1960s. It's, uh, I love the sweetheart neckline, which is uh, naughty and nice. It, <laughs> it's an easy way that you can look stylish and sexy and still having a complete uh, coverage. The, um, the ruched panels are great for, uh, again, for tummy control. Ruching is very forgiving. I really like the ruching. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, uh, it keeps that good feminine look and uh, and uh, it's, it's a great complete coverage and the bright color is just, again, you want to stand out. So if there's a, there's a special event we want to tell you about, speaking of bikinis, we want to tell you about a special event going on next Friday evening. It's called Martinis and Bikinis Fashion Show Fundraiser. It's Friday, April 10th. It's from 6 to 9 p.m. It is at the Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg. And if you want to get more information, you can go to heels2heel.org. That sounds like it's going to be a great event. It's, it's going to be amazing. We have Beach Drive restaurants involved to compete in the best martini on Beach Drive competition. Wow. It's judged by former Buccaneer Jimmy Giles. Um, we've got local boutiques um, and businesses from St. Petersburg involved. And it's, it's all a uh, cause to raise money for CASA, which is a domestic violence advocacy and shelter. Um, and we hope that people can attend. Uh, we expect to have um, a really good turnout. Sounds like fun, a fun event for a great cause. Well, it's been so much fun talking with you, Yay. ladies. And Thanks so much for next coming. Time. Yeah, Thank Catalina, you. looking forward to next time. Yes, I, there's a lot of great subjects that I can't wait to bring up.